if you are deploying an app to Google Cloud and your app is exposing a port other than 80 or 443, you will notice that you cannot access this app from the public internet. And this is because the Google Cloud firewall prevents access. In this video, we will see how we can reconfigure this firewall to address this issue. For illustrating this process, we will use this uh, Python Flask server that runs on um, port 8080. It's not important that it's in Python or it's in Flask. The only important thing in here is the port that is different than 80 and 443. So basically, it's just this is the only file in the project. It has a Hello World controller. And the only requirement is a Flask. So we can try to run it locally. And if we visit our URL in the browser, we will see uh, the only controller. Now we are going to um, uh, create a Docker container, a Docker image out of this project, and then uh, deploy it as a Compute Engine VM in our Google Cloud project. I have another video that goes step by step on uh, which uh, APIs you need to enable in your Google Cloud project and explains everything. Here, we're, we're going to go a bit faster. If you never deployed um, something to your Compute Engine, I recommend watching that video. The card is at the top. So we have this uh, Docker file that just copies uh, requirements file, then installs the requirements, copies the Python file, and then uh, runs it in, inside the container. So now we are just going to build this um, the Docker image in the terminal. So we need to give it a tag, gcr.io, and um, slash, and then our project ID that we are going to copy from Google Cloud. And uh, we are going to give it a name. Let's call it fwall-test. It doesn't matter. You can give it whatever name you like. And then the current directory, so dot. OK, very good. So now we just uh, we need to push this image again. So uh, uh, again, you might need to enable some APIs in your project. Watch uh, the other video if you didn't. So we'll do Docker push and the new image we just created. OK. So now if, if we go to Google Cloud and we search for container registry in, in the search bar, we will see our, um, our image in here that uh, we just uh, pushed. It says uh, created one minute ago. And uh, we can uh, deploy it as a compute engine virtual machine from this uh, dot, dot, dot menu. We'll do deploy to GCE. Uh, we need to give a name to our instance. Let's just call it fwall test. Select the region. Uh, you can select the region that is close to you. It's not that important. Machine type will do micro to get the uh, lower cost ones. We see that a container was uh, pre populated. And uh, yeah, now we see, if we scroll down, we see this section where it says firewall. So um, by default, we have these two checkboxes, one for allowing HTTP traffic on port 80, one for uh, 443 for HTTPS. But we don't have uh, any option in here to allow traffic on uh, port 8080. For now, we're just going to create it like this to verify that it cannot be accessed. The VM has started. And um, if we try to access um, this external IP on port 8080, we will see that um, the connection will fail. It, it will uh, keep loading. And then at some point, it will fail. And uh, yeah, now we will uh, add, we will reconfigure the firewall. So for now, we can just uh, stop this uh, VM. And um, I will open a new tab with the Google Cloud. 
So from here we need to navigate to firewall. Uh, the way I navigate between products in Google Cloud is with uh, this search bar. I find it much faster than um, scrolling through the list. So in here, uh, every Google Cloud project has uh, already some uh, pre-populated firewall rules. For example, this is the rule that um, allows uh, traffic on port 80 when we check that when we select that uh, checkbox on VM creation, uh, this other rule will uh, allow pinging instances and so on. There's this uh, learn more page from Google Cloud documentation that uh, explains the default rules, how they work, etc. It's uh, pretty interesting. Um, and uh, now we will uh, proceed by just creating a firewall rule. Let's just call this rule uh, allow dash 8080. And uh, yeah, we don't want logs for it. This is the network in which we apply this rule. You can have multiple VPC networks in your project. By default, every project is created with one VPC network, but you can create multiple ones. Then uh, we have priority. So we can see here the priorities of the other rules. They are sorted and in increasing order of this priority value. So if the value is lower, then that rule gets applied first. And if it matches, the application stops. So we see the highest priority rule is the one with HTTP. And uh, we will just leave the default right now uh, to make sure our rule applies. Then we have the direction of traffic. So if the rule applies to incoming traffic or to outgoing traffic. So we want to allow uh, incoming traffic on port 8080. So we will keep ingress in here. Then um, if the rule uh, allows traffic or denies it, in our case, we need to allow it. So now um, we need to um, we need to select somehow to which instances in our network this uh, rule applies to. And um, the default way of doing th this is by network tags. So when we add an, uh, a specific network tag to our uh, VMs in Compute Engine, then this firewall rule will apply to that instance. And in here, we will add, um, we will create a new tag, let's say allow 8080. Or actually, let's not clash with the rule name to not make it confusing. Let's call this uh, HTTP 8080. And um, now um, also we need to specify a range of IPs that this rule applies to. So in here, uh, the range of IPs is specified in a CIDR format. And we have some examples here. For example, if we do 0 .0 .0 .0, um, slash 0, that is uh, all the uh, all the possible IPs. But in short, if you want to read more about uh, CIDR format IP, uh, there yeah, there is even a Wikipedia page that describes it. So basically, the way it works is that you provide an IP. And um, how many how many bits in that IP is are fixed? So if we take for example the IP from there, so every every group that is separated within within dots has a range of zero to two fifty five, which means eight bits. So this is eight bits, this is eight bits, this is eight bits, and this is eight bits. So 24 means how many bits in um, this IP are fixed. So in our case, uh, 24 bits will be three groups. So this one, this notation is equivalent to 198, 51, 100, 0, then 198, 51, 100, that one and so on and so forth until uh, 198, 51, 100, 0.255. That's pretty much the gist of uh, CIDR, but in our case, we are just going to do 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. 
And uh, now um, we need to um, allow like whitelist some ports that um, this firewall uh, allows. So in TCP, we will add 8080. And uh, after we create this rule, we need to add this network tag to our VM. So now we just create it. And uh, if we go to our, um, our VM instances, we need to edit the instance. You can only edit it when it stopped or otherwise it will restart the instance. So in here, if we scroll down to networking, there's this section called network tags. And in here, we will add that tag. We called it HTTP-8080 hit enter, we save it. Okay, and now we just uh, start it again. And if we go to, we see the our instance is running. And if we try this uh, external IP, uh, the IP has changed because I used an e ephemeral IP, but you can use the uh, fixed ones. So in here, if we do this IP colon 8080, we will see that uh, we received the result from our controller. That's it for today. If you want to support the channel, please like the video or consider subscribing. There is a lot of content already about uh, Google Cloud. Thank you for watching.